Hi everyone and welcome to CodeFriend. Today I'll be showing you a fast and simple way to make a camera shake in Unity. Whether it is for a speed effect, an explosion, an earthquake or basically anything having to shake the camera, this simple system will do the job perfectly. I have a rather simple scene with a moving train. The current visual is decent but it could be improved in a few ways, especially with a camera shake. So let's start with what you came here for. Add a new script onto the supposed to be shaking camera and call it camera shake. First thing first, if we want to shake this camera, we need to know how much. Let's create a shake amount variable, it's some kind of magnitude, and we can define it with a value of 0.02. This might seem like a very low value, but as you will see in a couple of minutes, it's not. We also need a reference to our camera's starting positions. Because we're going to move this same camera around very quickly and in random directions. But in the end, we want this camera to stay in the same area as it was when it started shaking. If we don't take the starting position into consideration, we might find our camera a few meters away, if not more, from where it started shaking, which is not what we want. So let's assign this value in the awake method. And now that we have everything, the strength, the magnitude of the shaking and our initial position, all we have to do is shake. Not our body, obviously, just the camera. So let's perform a change of position for our current transform, so our camera, and it should be equal to our camera initial position plus random inside unit sphere. As you can see in the documentation, this method will simply return a vector free corresponding to a random point in a sphere with a radius of one. In other words, a random position near our current camera. So once this value is generated, we just need to multiply it with our shake amount. And with just that, we have a functional script allowing us to shake a camera. You can go back into Unity and press play to enjoy the result. If you think the shake amplitude is too low or too high, just change the shake amount value in the inspector. As you can see here, point 35 is already particularly powerful and I really recommend that you don't go above this value because the epileptic seizure is guaranteed. That's pretty much it for today. This simple script can now be extended very easily in many ways. You can make the camera shake only at a specific moment, define a shaking duration, add some visual effects and so much more. Thank you guys for watching, I hope you enjoyed, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys around. Godfriend, out.